Here at Fordham's Lincoln Center campus, 15 protesters were arrested by the NYPD. The NYPD says they are in contact with every university across this city to see what resources campuses need. Here at the Lincoln Center location, two officers remain posted outside. You have been warned as per Fordham University to leave the campus. The NYPD releasing 90 seconds of video showing officers clearing the lobby of Fordham University's Lincoln Center campus. About a dozen students set up camp and refused to leave. <laughs> Fordham said they were trespassing at Lowenstein Hall and requested the NYPD's assistance to get them to leave. We have been having ongoing conversations with all of our universities. Once we picked up uh, from our intelligence uh, that there was a real desire to start taking over buildings and a desire to uh, escalate. And in defiance, officers responding to CUNY for the second night in a row, even after Tuesday's response yielded more than 200 arrests. Demonstrators broke in and ransacked an administrative building, according to the university. The NYPD says over the last two weeks, pro-Palestinian protests picked up across college campuses. They had their eye on a number of known external agitators who trained students new demonstration tactics, which is what happened at Columbia University. One of those, the wife of a well-known terrorist. People that weren't from the school infiltrated the campus who were causing problems for our students and radicalizing them and teaching them how to do things they wouldn't normally do. Tuesday night's events yielded 280 arrests. About 170 of those were summonses, the remaining desk appearance tickets. And it is because those students and protesters who were released right back onto the street, the NYPD is fearing that tactics may escalate across the city because there's no deterrent of keeping these students at bay. Outside the Lincoln Center campus of Fordham University, I'm Calarama, PIX11 News.